All right, y'all, welcome back to the podcast, Jester Section Hiker, another episode from Trail Days. And y'all not gonna believe this one because we missed our podcast anniversary. Let Y'all can tell we're still at Trail Days because they're screaming in the background. Uh, but we are by a river and uh, we're sitting at the weirdest picnic table I think I've ever sat at in my life. Y'all, I am back with Craig Hawk, Baines Hawk. It's been too long. It has been a while. How you been? I'm good. That's good. I'm good. We <laughs> see each other on, uh, well, I watch your videos. Appreciate you that. You recently put one out about your section hike and you called it like your worst video ever. Yeah. Why? Because I didn't do dailies. <laughs> <laughs> So do you just not feel right if you don't do daily videos? Something's about it, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, it seems like I'm leaving people hanging. <laughs> well, that you're so used to that, you got a rhythm. Yeah. So we saw each other this morning. Uh, Y'all, we're just going right into it uh, at 10 o'clock and Hawk showed me his secret way to video with his camera <laughs> or with his phone. So now I know the Hawk method, which is what I'm going to call it. What did I call it this morning? I don't know, was it's it? the famous Hawk's camera spin. Yes. Everybody wants to know how I do it that. It was fantastic. <laughs> I've even practiced since this morning. That helps. So listen, it's been, we missed our anniversary last year because you were starting to do a southbound hike. Yep. And what happened? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what did you say in your video? You said 2023, not for me. Just or, must not be for me. Just, might, just not be for me. So, <laughs> like, what happened? Were, was your heart not in it? Like, it just wasn't feeling it, or? Oh, uh, I don't know. I had enough money to do it, and I had enough money to take my van on a road trip. Okay, you've been thought, working hard on your van. Yeah, and it's done. So I, like, instead of letting it sit for that long, I might as well go use the van. But I, yeah, I wasn't really feeling the AT either. This is a late start, and then when I, well, I started at Canada Border, the IAT, and when I fell, about broke my tailbone, that put me back. Oh, that's right. 10, 15 days, and I was already pushing it. I'm like, okay, let's just call it. Instead of hiking in snow again, I don't really care for that. And that would have happened if I would have kept going south. I would have had snow in the Smokies, probably. Yeah, you would have, because yeah. once you go south, it's okay until you get to the smoke. Well, I mean, there Rome. are some high, you know, Rhone. Yeah. yeah, your famous video on yeah. Rhone. Grace Highlands. Gr yeah. I mean, you got spots where you can get slammed with snow in December, October. Oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Like a bird peed on it. No, no, no. Let me look. <laughs> Let's see. No, no, it's clear. <laughs> it's right here on the top of your <laughs> your left eye. <sighs> yeah, and now it, Hawk is getting pooped on right here at this crazy <laughs> picnic table. <laughs> That's funny. No, it was like a, yeah, my heart wasn't really into it. And it, I just felt rushed, too rushed to do what I wanted to do. So yeah. I called it. Hey, listen, take your mic and hold it. Just hold it. All right, we're doing mic adjustments. No big deal. There we go. There. Yeah, hold it in front of you there. <laughs> got to hold it, Hawk. Oh, OK. Got to hold it. Jeez. <laughs> I know. Technical. Di there you go. Technical <laughs> difficulties. So, all right, you just weren't feeling it, so you guys went on this road trip. Oh, now I'm remembering. Yeah. So when you started this road trip, you did something with some clippers. Oh yeah, I shaved my beard and my head. Yeah, I shaved clean shaven hawk, which people, most people haven't seen since, I don't even know when last time I shaved was. What, what, what prompted that, just? Katie's never seen me without my beard. Interesting. Yeah, so. Well, okay, you have your beard back in it's back so did I, i'm going to assume katie liked the beard better or she keeps asking me to shave it again but uh, i think she likes both ways She's yeah just, it doesn't matter yeah, i'm a new person when i don't have a beard so <laughs> nobody recognizes you no it's a good thing <laughs> so where did you guys road trip to oh man so i went from georgia to maine pick her up then went to niagara falls and then we just continued out west all the way to Washington, state of Washington, and down through Oregon, California, over to the Grand Canyon. Nice. And I went over to St. Louis, saw my way, which I ain't seen in a while. Nice. And then back to Maine, and then back to Georgia. Like 24,000 miles. Wow. Yeah. Never paid for lodging once. We slept in my van the whole time. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. That's even better. So out there, they've got um, the BLM land. Oh, yeah. So did you take advantage of that, or oh, just? About every night. Pretty yeah. much boondock every night. Yep. The only thing I changed about that is I probably get Starlink because you're out there in the middle. You don't have no service, no nothing. But I guess that's part of the experience. So, 
were you happy with your decision that you left the AT and decided to do that? At the moment I was, yeah, but now looking back, I kind of like regret that I didn't keep going. Because it would have been cool to get more consecutive hikes in a row. But six is a good, pretty good number. And six is a great number. <laughs> Consecutive. I mean, it's hard to keep sustaining it, it. Yeah, because life. Yeah. Yeah, you get a girlfriend, you know, puts a damper on the hiking <laughs> plan. Uh, Katie, he doesn't mean that bad. <laughs> no, no. She knows. And she's a hiker, so she gets yeah. it. We just got. She wants me to hike this year uh, southbound, but depending on how the money situation goes. But I think I'm going to pull off southbound this year. So if you start southbound this year, 2024. Yep. When would you start? Probably August 1st to August 10th. So a couple months, really. Yeah, yeah. Got to get a shed built up there in Maine on a property we just got, and then start the driveway up there, and then I'm out of there. Yeah. So the plan is this year, and then I know people have been asking you about your plans about your property, too. Oh, yeah. So I, are you allowed to unveil any of that stuff? Or? I mean, I can, yeah. We're trying to do it all paying for cash. We don't want to take no loans out, so... We're gonna do stages, and eventually, within three years, I'm guessing we'll have a tiny house up there. Nice. Nothing too big. Yeah. So bedroom. then, will you guys go back and forth, spend some time in Georgia, spend time yeah. in Maine? Yeah. I'm done with winters, so I'll go. I'm a snowbird now, I guess. I'll go down to Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. When the Hawk, snow you're changing. I know. You're, you're changing. I just don't like shoveling snow. It seems like a lot of wasted work. Now I'm getting paid to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's cold, so. That's a good, you know what? I remember in your early videos, you always talked about getting property in Maine or getting property somewhere, you know, yeah. along the AT. And is your, do you have views of the AT with your property? Oh yeah, we can see right in the 100 mile wilderness. We can see oh, barren, wow. white cap, all the ponds. Yeah. Can you see Katahdin on a clear day? You can see Katahdin on a clear Okay, day. you got good property. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, you, you're keeping some things hidden. Yeah. And we don't want to stop there. We want more properties along the AT with just like RV parking spots. We got kind of ideas of places awesome. to put like a mobile shower, park it at a trailhead, yeah. coin operated in like Connecticut where it's hard to get a shower. Yeah. Just park this trailer with laundry and shower and leave it for a week or so. I mean, you can van life the AT for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easily. It's not an issue. No, you can you almost do it every night back in your van. Maybe a couple overnights, but yeah. Not yeah, many. maybe over, where am I thinking? Um, what's the. Um, notch right when you first go into Maine. Not oh, Mahoosig Notch. But before that, that 30 mile stretch, is that accessible? No, that'd yeah. be an overnight so part. Yep. Yeah. You'd have to do an overnight to Grafton Notch. There it is, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. yeah. Maine would be the trickiest, but Katie lives in Maine, so she knows all of those roads. And probably not afraid of the roads. She's like, not afraid at all yeah. of those roads, which is good. I think the van's good support. tires on a van and... Yeah. Now you're not RVing back in there, but if you've got a good yeah. Rugged van with some good tires on them. Yeah, you're good. As long as you're not, yeah, a big RV over, I wouldn't take a 30 foot RV back. No, in some God ways. no. But a big van, you're good, I think. Maybe clearance on some spots, but that yeah, should be good. Hopefully. So I asked you a question earlier today because you said you might go south and we just talked about that. And I said, is your heart in it? So does your heart come and go from the AT now that you've, or, do, or does it take a place like, I mean, I'm all in it right now. I mean, we're sitting here at trail days. How can you not? Yeah. No, I still always want to be on the AT, but then I also want to make life a little easier for the long term, I guess, and give Katie a place to call home base. Yeah. I get it. You know, when you got family that want to come see you and you got a van you're living in, it's kind of hard to have family come see you. Yeah. So, yeah, a little tiny house, place to store stuff, call home base. Now, I got all this stuff that I've gotten over the years from the AT that like to hang on walls. I don't have well, that walls. is true. You've got some pretty awesome things yeah. from, from Pop HST. Support Team. Yeah. yeah. And I have nowhere to really display them. So it'd be kind of nice to have a wall somewhere to hang stuff up on. Yeah, but if you pay everything as you go, you don't owe anybody anything. That's so you can be key. a little more free. Yeah, and I can keep hiking if I don't owe this big debt. Yeah. So. Because yeah. that's when you get yourself in trouble. It you got to settle down. Took me years to get debt free. I don't want to jump back into it. <laughs> <laughs> you got an over the debt thing. So how long are you going to be in the south until you go up to Maine? Until you decide to put your... Two or three more weeks, I'm heading to Maine. Yeah. yeah. You got a project you're working on now? Yep, I got an outdoor shower I'm doing for Skip and Donna. Nice. And then uh, a couple other little things I got to get done. And then 
As soon as it gets too hot in Georgia, I'm out of here. You're out. Yeah, 9,500 degrees. Nah, I go back. Like I say, I'm a snowbird now. I follow the weather. You're getting weak, Hawk. You're getting... I am getting weak. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting weak. So what's your favorite thing about trail days when you come? Mm, probably all the vendors. It's good to see all these this gear you can't touch and feel unless you're here. You know, you order all this stuff online and you get it, and you're like, ah, it's not what yeah, I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It's here, you can see it all and touch it all. You can see the people that make it, which is even better because these cottage companies, people are great that are running these businesses. Yeah, gear, people. Skip's looking. <laughs> the timekeeper has said, let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, we're coming, Skip. We're coming, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. So all the vendors, and you were in the parade. I was in that the parade. parade. This is my first time in the parade. Oh, it was? Yeah. You're lucky it rained before. There would have been a lot more squirt guns and hoses and stuff. I got nailed in the side of the <laughs> face once by a little kid. I was like, touche, you yeah. got me. I got it in the ear. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So where did you end up? Because... I hiked with my class 2017, yep. but you can kind of roam a little bit. So did you start somewhere and end up with another group? Or? I like to start with the first year, 2012, and then hang with them to about the curve in the gas station. Oh yeah. And then I like to drive back from like, well, I can float 18 to 22. So I just like, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down until I'm hitting all of the classes. I'm telling you the class of 2020, they had the best sign. Yeah, they did have yeah, a good Yeah, it was the sign. biggest. Yeah. yeah. I like to yeah. go with 19, too, because that was the most memorable year on the AT for me, I think. So. Yeah, the yo-yo year. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, was a good year. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, we have we have been summonsed, yeah. and I said this was going to be 10 minutes or left, and we're at 11 minutes and 55 seconds. We so did we good. Gotta go. We did, we did good. good. So, Hawk, if you go southbound, you know I'm going to chase you down when you get down here to these states. Perfect. And uh, we'll chat again. Maybe we'll have another date, anniversary at weary feet i like the idea of that if you're here i'm coming i'll be there all right sounds good y'all <laughs> i'll be back for another interview sometime or another soon enough <laughs>